Hi everyone! Today's book review is going to be something a little bit different. There are music books, there are disaster books, there are rail books, there are rail disaster books, but I don't think there's many rail disaster books with music included. And the book that we'll be looking at is this. Scalded to Death by the Steam by Katie Letcher Lyle. Now, setting aside the uh, graphic title, this book takes a very interesting approach. It looks at local American railway disasters and the songs that were created from those disasters. It's, defi it's definitely a unique track to take because most disaster books either go generic and basically cover a series of disasters such as these two books or on the flip side they focus in depth on very specific train wrecks such as these two Never have I seen a rail disaster book deal almost exclusively with music, and in particular the music that was inspired by those disasters. But this is the path that Katie Letcher Lyle has taken with her book. And as you can see in the images up here on the screen, this isn't just a music book. Rather, the stories of the disasters the people and whose lives were affected are told and then where available sheet music from those songs as well as lyrics are provided so for those of you who are musically talented you can always uh, recreate these tunes on whatever instrument you wish I, I can't play music to save my life so I'll leave that to you I'll just do the reading and the reviewing it's a unique approach and it's certainly fascinating because it captures not only the history of these railway disasters, but it also captures the effect it had on the local population and how the memory of that event was reflected through music. The author makes a point to highlight when the lyrics and the music take a different track to the historical record. So pointing out where popular memory diverges from historical accuracy which also not only reflects on how history and memory tend to separate, but also how popular myths become part of the folklore and part of the legend of, of these disasters. Most of the wrecks that are covered in here are some smaller, less well-known wrecks, and probably a feature of small towns. So combining this record and the music brings to life these once forgotten stories that would tend to be overlooked in some of these other books that focus on overall disasters and the major ones. As you've also seen, it is profusely illustrated with the book, with photos, images, uh, sheet music, you name it. It's all here. For the rather unique take on history and in particular rail disasters, this book gets a four captain's hats. It is a fascinating and different perspective on rail disasters. And as an added bonus for those of you who are musically talented and certainly able, you can even participate by uh, recreating the music that's provided in the book. So there you have it. If there are any other rail disaster books or other disasters that you would like me to review let me know in the comments below certainly if i have them in my rather extensive library i will definitely review them for you so until the next time uh, enjoy and happy reading everyone